President, Mr. Frank Ousu, other outgoing executives of the SRC, senior officers of the university, the SRC Vice President, Nana Kabuna Osei, other SRC executives, family members present, students gathered here today, esteemed ladies and gentlemen, I extend my warmest greeting to each and every one of you. It is with a profound sense of honor and gratitude that I stand before you today as I assume the mantle of leadership as your next SRC president for this academic year. My journey to this pivotal moment has been marked by unwavering resilience and personal fortitude. I stand here today firmly believing that with the right vision, unwavering dedication, and forward-thinking foresight, we can construct a vibrant and impactful students' union, one that meaningfully engages in the university's participatory leadership. In the upcoming year, I envision an SRC that works tirelessly to amplify the voices of our diverse students' body, where every opinion matters and every concern is heard we shall dedicate ourselves to fostering a campus environment that thrives on inclusivity, where every student feels valued, regardless of their background or beliefs. Furthermore, our commitment extends to proactive engagement with the university's leadership, faculty, and staff. Together, we shall collaboratively address the challenges that may impede the pursuit of quality education. Our mission is as clear as the morning sun, to ensure that every student's academic journey here is lighted with opportunities for enlightenment, growth, and achievement. Unity within our students' community is paramount. Together, we wield formidable power not confined to the walls of our university, but with the potential to light the broader landscape of society. Let us accept this responsibility with open arms and unite to bring about positive change. Furthermore, let us look globally for inspiration. University endowment funds, instrumental in upgrading infrastructure and enriching learning outcomes are often sourced from research and the generous contribution of alumni. We must rekindle our alumni's engagement, transforming them into constructive contributors to our university's growth. This SRC will lead the way through the JCRC and the Parliamentary Council, Ushering in a new era that, that leaves behind the toxic remnants of the past and pioneers new frontiers for reform in our halls of residence and the colleges. However, our mission extends beyond the confines of our campus. I aim to lead an SRC that demonstrates enduring commitment to bridging the gap between industry and academia. Our focus will be on prioritizing managerial expertise financial support, mentorship, internship, and innovation. These initiatives will be dedicated to the thousands of students who partake in the Kwame Nkrumah's vision, a vision that instills a transformative mindset, not only for their personal growth, but also for our nation. This mindset, rooted in principles of excellence and innovation, shall guide our nation onto an industrial trajectory. Moreover, we are dedicated to answering the fundamental question of improving access for the most underprivileged among us. Conversations have been initiated to significantly enhance the university's insurance policy program. The current benefits are outdated and fail to address the core issues confronting our students. In the coming days, the SRC shall present a comprehensive reforms regarding students' benefits within a competitive and transparent framework to university management. In closing, I am honored to share one more significant announcement with you all. 
The SRC has taken a pivotal step forward by engaging with a reputable investment firm. Possessing the capability to secure the university a substantial amount through a soft loan concession program. This fund is earmarked for the construction of new hall, adding to a remarkable 15,000 bed capacity to our campus. Rest assured, we are committed to presenting this proposal to the university administration with the utmost However, we must bring transparency and accountability to the forefront. The SRC acknowledges its duty to lead a process that shed light on its activities. After all, it is only sunlight that can dispel the shadows of underhand dealings. I pledge to you, our student body, an SRC that is fully transparent and accountable. As we draw the curtains to this address, let us proceed forward to let us proceed forward with renewed zeal on wavering commitment to realize our collective vision together we shall light the path leading to a brighter future fortified by our shared dedication on wavering resilience and the promise of transformative change i urge each and every one of you my fellow students to embrace this journey with hope in your hearts for it is hope that fuels our de determination to work tirelessly for the betterment of our beloved Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and for the posterity of each and every student here. Thank you and let our journey towards progress, transparency and excellence continue unabated. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you very much, Madam President, for your keen.